Okay, this is a review of how to customize shapes to get to sort of the shape that you want for your animal design in Illustrator. So remember that my basic shapes are over here on my toolbar and I've got um, the rectangle tool, the rounded rectangle, the ellipse tool, polygon, and star tool. One thing that people were asking me was, how do I make a triangle? Um, one way to do that would be to click the star tool and then just click, instead of clicking and dragging like that to make a star, I'm going to undo that, you just click once and let go and what happens is you pop up with this little this little options and one of the options is how many points your star has. So to make a triangle you have three points and now you have a triangular shape which I could then use for an ear if I wanted to. So I'm scaling it, remember that you have to use your black selection to scale things um, I'm also doing rotation by going out to the corner and clicking on it. Right now my stroke or my outline is red. I'm going to just change that to black to make it consistent with my other one. I'm also going to make my um, outline thicker. Because if you make it thicker then it's actually a lot easier to see. And I, you know, black actually is not a great color for this outline so I'm actually going to switch it over to something really bright like orange so that I can really see it against the panda. Now if I want to modify this shape I'm going to click on the white arrow up here. I can double click on any one of the points and I can drag it to kind of move it and make it go where I want it to go and get me a better more ear-like shape. Double click and drag, double click and drag. Now something you might notice with this particular shape is that it's kind of boxy. Um, it has like kind of pointed edges. I'm going to hide my photo layer for a second so you can just see the shape. And it's not very smooth or round. So if, if this happens to you, if you have something that you want to be more curved, there's actually a way to do this. Um, so let's say that you want to make this more curved. So I'm going to double click on one of the points, this point at the top of the ear. And I'm going to go up to the top here where it says anchor point and it says convert. There's convert selected anchor point to corner and there's convert selected anchor point to smooth. So we want to smooth this. So I'm going to click the smooth button and it creates this slight curve to it. So I'm going to do that for each of these points to make it more rounded. So I can work with this a little bit more because um, now that it's, and I'll show you the difference here, I'm going to hide this and see how it's kind of more rounded, that's really helpful. So um, one thing that I want to do is you always want to notice how many points you have. Sometimes having too many points can actually make your um, artwork look kind of bumpy. So sometimes you don't need extra points. If you click on this you'll see I have one, two, three, four, five, six points. Um, if I want to get rid of a point at any time, I can go over to my pen tool over here and if I click this pen tool, it's, not right next, it's to the left of the T tool, the pen tool, and if I click on a point that already exists, you see how it has that minus symbol? That'll make that point go away. Now it does make this kind of cut the corner, but I can always smooth this out. I'm also going to do one on this side as well. That looks kind of like it's not going to work, but trust me when I say that it will, it's going to work out. I'm going to go back to my white arrow now. I'm going to click on this um, particular point and I'm going to drag the curve handles out a little bit. This one I can drag out a little bit too. So I've got a little bit better ear shape now. Let me hide and, and see. I like to be able to see. Oh, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. That's the basic concept of how to create um, your customized shapes for yourself. You can also um, add points if you need to. So let me show you an example of when I might need to add a point. I'm going to go ahead and grab my ellipse tool and make a circle for the head. It's a little bit big so I'm going to drag it from the corner, make it smaller, kind of center it on the head here. Remember that any object you want to color separately has to have its own shape. So the ear is black and the face is white so I'm going to make those two separate shapes. So now if I start to edit this by clicking on my white arrow and then I find one of those points and I can sort of adjust it by dragging it and I can adjust the, the um, 
the curve handles as well to get the shape of the head. But let's say that I don't have enough points. I can always go back to my pen tool and notice that when I go along a line and there's not a, a existing point, it has a little plus sign. And if I click that, it adds another point there that I can work with. So now there's a point here. So if I wanted to customize this shape a little bit more, I could do that.